All right, so we got a 70 Roadrunner in the shop today that uh, had a pretty nice restoration done right. At this point, we're going to take a look at the interior here. Yeah, it looks pretty straight up, right? But for some reason, somebody thought Dynamat and undercoating would suffice as a floor. So this poor guy bought this car, claiming to be fully restored, you know, like they say, rotisserie. And yeah, we got this kind of shit going on. So guess what? This guy gets to have a new floor, courtesy of Lugnuts Garage. And yeah, they even hit it with undercoating. Isn't that nice? I mean, it looks pretty clean under here until you touch it. So, we're going to be putting a new floor in this bad boy. Let's follow along as we put a new floor in this beautiful 70 Roadrunner. Is it clear of the stuff? Yep. So yeah, the boys have done real well. Kevin and Jerry uh, worked real hard to get this floor out. Unfortunately, the Dynamat uh, hiding the rust made this job a lot more difficult than it needed to be. Uh, it's really still unfortunate that this rusty floor was hidden by Dynamat and undercoating. And we have also identified uh, quite a few areas that needed to be patched uh, prior to putting the new floor back in. Uh, so Jerry's currently working on making patches for everything And once we get the patches done and treated uh, then we'll start putting the floor back in but uh, I'll tell you the the, the Dynamat uh, Made this project a lot more diff more difficult than it needed to be um, I, I would wish guys that uh, do this type of work would have a little better ethic than uh, selling what they call a restored or even use the word rotisserie <laughs> which I, <laughs> I have a very different version of what that looks like. But at the end of the day, the boys uh, are doing a great job. I'm really happy with what I'm seeing here. And next steps are to complete the patches, get those treated, and we'll start putting this floor back in.